back, everyone. It is time for another Today's Marketplace. And this morning, we are talking about healthy food choices for children, especially as they head back to school. And we have pediatric nurse practitioner Colleen Doby from Alina with us this morning. She has a lot of delicious suggestions, even at the fair in the midst of all this fried food. Thank you, Colleen, for coming in. We're all starting to think about the back to school and the things that we can do for our kids. Um, why does this concern you so much? We hear a lot of talk about kids and food and trying to keep that weight down, unfortunately. Well, Heidi, we know that childhood obesity is dramatically on the rise. And this is particularly concerning because these extra pounds can lead children down the path to such health problems as diabetes, hypertension, and high cholesterol. And if we can teach those good habits early, hopefully that will continue through their life. Absolutely. Also, children, with, uh, children who are overweight often suffer from poor self-esteem and even depression. Okay, so heading back to school, first thing you say, get that lunch menu. Yep, absolutely. Uh, it's so here's a large example of the All lunch right. menu you may see at your children's school. All right. So it is definitely important to review the lunch menu from school and to look at what would be a healthy choice. Although lunch menus have dramatically improved in the last decade, there are still some choices that may not be the best for all children. So you see, say you see a day that it's just one that you think, oh, my child should avoid that, it's very fatty. Right. That's right. when you go to the cold lunch. Yes. So talk to us about that. And well, first to talk about some of the things that we want to avoid. Uh, you definitely want to avoid pop or juice. And as you can see in one bottle of pop, we have sugar cubes to represent there's this much sugar in one bottle of pop. And even a Gatorade has, has a significant amount of sugar in it. And we so, look to that sometimes as a healthy drink, not always the that's case. Right. What's better? That's right. A much better choice for a beverage would be milk. Even chocolate milk, low-fat chocolate milk is a very good choice. Also, um, water certainly is, is a very a good choice. A little water bottle. Yes. What's yes. nice about packing a lunch and putting in these milks, a lot of these now do not have to be refrigerated. That's right. And, that's and there's nice an example thing. here. And the other thing that you want to avoid is high-carbohydrate, high-fat meals. So, for instance, looking at the school menu, if, if it's a day when the main entree is something like pancakes with syrup and, mm -hmm. and sausage, it might be a much healthier alternative for a child who, with a weight concern to bring a bagged lunch or boxed lunch from home. And some examples of that you can see here certainly would be the milk. And again, this, this uh, organic milk does not need to be refrigerated. Um, yeah, wanna, we looked at a lot of those and like the apples she told me before we got on air that you can sprinkle cinnamon, lemon juice, apple juice, juice. and that will keep them nice and fresh and if you want to spend a little bit more you can buy those pre-packs. I want to get over Absolutely. here because this is a great education for all of us on how much food we should be serving our children. She has some little dice here and mm -hmm. this is how much cheese a child should have, just four little cubes. Well, when you're looking at one serving of cheese, it's approximately the size of those four dice. And a portion size is very important. And so when it, it getting kids engaged in looking at nutrition labels, mm -hmm. um, uh, get them involved in going grocery shopping and planning meals at home and for their lunches. But uh, you need to look at portion size. That's very important because even if you're eating healthy food choices and you are using supersized portions that is is going to be problematic and for we, you. Yes, we are out of time unfortunately. Okay. It, there's so many great suggestions that she has but the deck of cards that was sitting there that's Absolutely, supposed to be how much yes. meat you should have and just so much good information and good to just get our minds thinking about this. Thank you so much You're Colleen welcome. for coming in. For more information about Alina Medical Clinic and the things we're talking about here call 612-262-3333 or 1-800-877-7877 78. You can also go online to alina.com slash clinics. Still ahead.